of it because you got some presence of mind and options that he likes to take. But if you don't win now, man, it's irrelevant, dog. This is for the fight for the right in Grand Finals of Smash yeah. Delphia 2017. Who is going to see Thunders and Grands? Thank you all for tuning in. It's been a wonderful experience casting for you all. Everybody just tuning in in the chat. And thank you so much. Uh, Losing Finals, baby. It's your boy.com. It's your boy We coming to you live from a hand warmer. All right. Aiden's nose up is unlocked. <laughs> Sit back and watch. Man, and that's enjoy that's the what you show. really need to know. That's why I'll be on point right now. And we've said before, right before this Hyper Flame lost to Aiden, uh, that was a 3 2, so it was very close. But we're waiting to see what happens. Could theoretically take this set. If you look at that last set as a precedent, you don't know how this one will go. This is kind of starting off in the same. The yeah. first game, it seemed to be the one, uh, Hyper at least. Hyper was the dominant the one game one, yeah. Absolutely, he was controlling the stage. He was putting Aiden in a bad 50-50 situation. And it seems to be like he definitely wants this right now. When Hyper Flame gets his game on, it is terrifying. Just getting all these hitboxes out of well, you. That's, that's exactly how Hyper Flame got his hyper name. Spam that copy passer. But 7 minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, not even already 40 seconds. Aiden down two stocks. Really struggling to make this happen. But this game not equating up to what it was in the last set. Not even really winning fun. neutral very much in this situation. Ooh. But that one win of neutral, and now we're still seeing this continue. 64% before he got clipped out of anything there. Hyper is expertly clipping all of Zero Suit's get up options right now. He's doing a little bit of patience, not extending himself right now. Wait. Oh, oh. And Aiden will find that kill. Forward air sending him off the edge. But at 106%. Trying to make this thing happen. He needs to make Still. a restock comeback. Not the, the most favorable of situations. Up throw will allow him to start this combo up. And catches the uh, whole right, lane from the right. ledge, so does have a read. Ooh! Thought that he was snapping a ledge. In fact, goes skimming right over the top of Green Hill. Oh! Oh, so at least the Hyper Flame stock is hot of the way. Yeah. That's, that's, what he's, that's somewhat pretty bad known news. for his insane tech skill, his insane Lucas, and his insane SDs once Good again. Good news for Hyper, bad news for Aiden. Could not count on that Hyper Flame stock coming out the rest of this set, so you're going to need to take all of them the proper way. Alright, working on that offense up, not quite fully out there yet. Ooh, catches right. him with that down air, looks for the tech situation. Finds it, though it may not kill exactly. Less Aiden back on stage. I know he's been looking for those back airs. I'm uh, hoping Aiden's going to hop off that ledge. Works a lot for him set one, but it's not been happening at all in this second set. Didn't really even happen much in the end of the first set. Not quite going to kill Aiden. Living a ridiculously high percents for a stage this small. Pulls him down. Oh, I thought he was going to tech in. It's not right there. It's probably what he thought as well. Going for a mix up right now. Like you said, he looked very strong at the start of the game. Bringing it back. Aiden could possibly die off the side to an air. It was a little bit too much for him to do that. At 174%, there's a lot of moves that you have to avoid. And with so many buttons that Lucas impresses so quickly. At 174%, you're not only looking out for the bear, you're not only looking out for up smash, you're looking out for basically anything looking Lucas can touch you with. Yeah. <laughs> anything Lucas can touch you with is going to kill. All right, so the first counter pick coming out. Those walls, extremely quick blast zones that are going to allow Aiden to make use of Killing his opponent off to the side very quickly. Spacing around Hyper Flame so far with these back airs. Daring him to drop that shield, throw out an unsafe move. 
He's also not getting hit by any so many of these crazy hyper flame combos anymore. He may have been getting started, but his tech options and his get up attacks are really cutting those off. Wow. As I say that, that after the forward smash was only at 78%. He caught up with some crazy DI right there. He should not have had, but. Even this game. DI is the team of the game. Okay. The first time I've seen the Hyper Flame pop out correctly out of that Baron like he wanted to. Not allowing him to get a follow up. And this offense up. Playing apart right now. Hyper Flame climbs all the way up Wario Land in order to send Aiden back down to the depths. I like some ladders. Ooh. Just, uh, agreeably spot. going back to the stage. Getting it so fast. But if he can keep this up, then he can control this set the whole way through. He's winning one neutral, getting 60%, and just wishing his way right back out. Down tilt, barely knocking him off. And Hyper's just all over him, even when Aiden gets back to the... <gasps> what? Uh, 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 there's okay. A, there's a note here from that somewhere. Okay. No, it's not okay. That wasn't okay. Oh, this doesn't look okay. The two up tilts? Falling magnet? How dare you, sir? All right. Hangs it. I'm not quite out of this yet. Fell I through his hit stun with the second hit of that fair. It's kind of reminiscent to a Fox's up air. It's just put it on uh, sideways, if you will. As they out of the first one, but that second hit of fair with that second hit of up there. That's the one you need. That's the one they got. They're just scrambling here, scrapping, trying to get something started from both of them. Projectiles meeting in the middle. Aiden Ooh, is random, finding some follow ups down but, smash. Uh, Hyper Flame has been crouch canceling out of a lot of his aerials, especially Nair. It's allowed him to, to counter play very well. And this is kind of like similar to what we saw last match. Hyper Flame is the one they control most of the set and he's bringing it back a little bit right there. I saw earlier Hyper Flame did like the tether cancel where he used the snake and landed on the snake. Stuff is where he sent us from above. But that up throw. Kill. Piece of Hyper toss in the flame. Building, Down Holy two crap. games to zero. Three sets under his belt. It's still looking Aiden world's different than their first still set. Gotta be a little bit closer. Three, two, one, first set was go. close, both. It was 3 2. This one has been looking all Hyper Flame. Well, if Aiden wins, the set will be 3-2. If he does, but we right now, it is. it's looking like it is Alex's game. Ooh, Ooh so barely cool. misses that sword. But will not miss an up smash. That Which is a did. quick, quick first stock. Combo him all over the stage. He took a tour of every platform and the edge. Hyper Flame is just consistently crossing Aiden up. He's not landing in front of him. You keep putting the hitboxes out, landing behind him, and you see how Aiden's reacting. He has enough time with these magnets to make use of him. Down smash out of run to check an ignorant option from the ledge. My man is appearing to be in light. Yeah, this is an entirely different Hyper Flame than we saw from Game 1. Not, sorry, not Game 1, Set 1, but holy crap! Aiden, though, has been known to do this before. The run back is not new to him. And Aiden was the victor of their last three sets. Hyper Flame right now with some impressive combos. And one is 57. Hyper Flame is a miraculous and still living. And struggling to really get a clean kill move landing on him. All right, here we go. That will be it. Back there through that ledge. Not out of this yet. 81% is not too large of a deficit, though it is a deficit. In a game like this, in the where Aiden's able to take a quick 30 just like that. And that tether just getting Lucas back to the stage so that quickly. That power so shield safely. allowed Aiden to escape. Hyperflame says, nah, it does not matter! It didn't. Bro, that DI was something else.
Hyper Flame. These mix ups are from tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Every crazy. time Hyperflame touches Aiden or touches even his shield, you just have take no so idea much where he's going, damage, and that's so a problem. When you can't predict where you're, where he's going, you you don't always have the correct counterplay to provide something. I love that Hyper has been using his PK freeze in order to. Okay. Anyways, I love that Hyperflame has been using his PK freeze in order to stuff Aiden's approaches, but holy. You know who yeah. don't? Aiden. Yeah. Aiden does not love that hyper bet. has been doing that. Bet. 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 Oh, all right. Well, all I lied. Right. Another hyper flame stock is coming in. This may be exactly what Aiden needs. Those 62% already on that board. Could take that SD and run with it. He's Great guy right, right there back. from the hyper flame to get out of that follow up. Most Aiden was looking for that up to possibly follow up grab. Ooh, barely clipping him with that. Hyperflame wave dashing back after that magnet. He's not quite hit him with the PK freeze to finish up the combo. Man, for all pivot side B, seeing Aiden employ it now more than we've seen him in this entire set completely. There we go. Aiden Hyperflame looking hesitant as he's in a shield for the like, this first looks time. Like, this stock looks like a completely different Aiden. We, I haven't seen this much side B yep. from him in this entire yep. set. Well, I haven't seen it from the set even, even earlier. We haven't seen Hyperflame looking that Defensive the entire game. Hyperflame dropping the game. Aiden. Aiden does pull it back. Holy crap, that SD was exactly what he needed. Yeah, that was everything he needed. It may not be uh, the set for him, but at least it brought him an extra game. To that was the everything bagel he was looking for. Jeez, trying cream. to add that cream cheese, that peanut butter, that jam on Whatever his top. you want. You know what, this, this game, if he takes it, this is the cream cheese. Now we're going to see if he can make, get it toasted, because uh, Hyper Flame looks ready to go with his order. Let me tell you. Hyper Flame's sitting at Duncan going, uh, let me get... Let me get a... Well, that medium iced coffee. Cream, I like the sugar. Process, Actually, real talk, you better be getting cold or not. It's a hot bag. Just like uh, connect with the, the up smash from Lucas right there, but still no OU on the board. Just a respectable hitbox. Whoa! I thought either one of them had a chance to die in that situation. Both rolling to the right. Talking about the up throw to the back here. Aiden finally taking the lead. Aiden, yeah, this is the first time, despite him winning the last game, never really had a solid lead the entire time. Especially not earlier off in the game. Hyperflame has been yeah. controlling this set. Now he is at 158%, so he will die to literally anything. Oh, starting it up. Uh. Caught Aiden trying to crouch cancel. So, yeah, let me eat some feet for you. That up smash going to barely not take it. Also so tough close, up however. smash kill so early. And he knows he does not have the luxury of getting hit with that one more time at all. But Hyperflame was dangerously close to that last zone because of getting carried off the Smashville platform. Alright, with the proper SDI from Aiden right there, just staying up and off of that ground. There we go. Side B follow ups. Hyperflame SDI to the second hit. Fair, great this stuff. Should kill off the top. Yeah, well, oh, wow. Damn, proper knowledge. I am wrong. I apologize, folks. Ain't the only one. All right, let's do it again. All right, there hey, we go. First, you don't succeed. Try, try again. Let's do it. Nigger. Okay. Was probably looking for a forward there. Was hoping that hyperplane was sent a little bit further in front of him to get the second hit of that fair off. Even this up at two stocks of peace, but right now, eight. ooh, that whip pulls him back. That is not where he expected to get sent. Okay. Definitely DI'd poorly for it. Even stocks, basically even percent. No Tim is pleased. This is definitely looking like a different Aiden than it was earlier. It's looking like a different Aiden, and it's also looking like a little bit of a different Hyper Flame. Not playing quite as quickly, not as confidently as before. Aiden really forcing him on the defensive right now. But Hyper Flame's not nah, done with that. Let's play offensively again. Trying to get something started here. There he goes, that might be exactly what he needs. Misses that read. Oh, 
so close right there with that side B. I oh, just that and that right PK of... freeze carrying him up, continuing the combo. Luckily enough for him, that sweet spot back here did not hit, but doesn't really matter. Still calls his recovery. When someone calls out your recovery with an offense up up smash, you kind of done. It. You gotta get it. You gotta let it go. See, Aiden has been going for an up throw after a lot of these. I mean, up air after a lot of these up throws. And Hyper has been di far enough away that he can't get the successful grab. So, going for the nair right there to put him on stage. Close enough. Not respecting that ledge. Real close to it. Hyper trying to close this out, looking for a shot at Thunder. Who he is. Missed the first fair, but still finds a successful oh, one. Oh, does not get the sweet spot. Sour spot back here, though. Knows he's incredibly close, can smell it in the water. All he needs is one more neutral win. He's backing it down, and SDI's back away from him. So smart. Uses smart. And the here balloon. it is. Actual tactical balloon use right there. And taking it off the top. top. I would shit. say, like, Hyperflame is obviously in the lead, but Aiden came back from just the same deficit before. Hyperflame not trying to give him that opportunity this time. All right, fake like he was going for the platform to get Hyperflame off the ledge. Off and that's smash. it. Just enough. White boy is not popping off today. Hyperflame, the victor of that set, going to be facing safer work Thunders in Grand Finals. I heard it's about to get a little not safer work.